Hi there, Linda Behrens here. I want to share with you some information about how to use this booklet that Dario Nardi and I wrote to help people understand the personality type code and what it really means. And to really get a deeper understanding of what Jung really meant when he wrote about the eight cognitive functions and then of course the eight types that became the 16 personality types after Isabel Myers uh, created the Myers-Briggs Type Indicator. So sometimes people have been using personality type and they've used the Myers-Briggs Type Indicator and they've talked to their participants about the type code and they would like to help them take it deeper. This book will help you do that. It also was designed so that you start with understanding what it really means. And so this walks you through that process. And we understand from years and years of study that there are 16 personality types. So the first page that I often, well, there's some, some framing and setup on page, um, the first pages, pages one, two, and three. And then pages four, page four has 16 personality patterns that you can help people um, read this theme and find, their, find a theme that fits them. Or you can come back to that later. And then on page five, there's um, an activity that you can do about figuring out what to wear. And you can have people do this in, the class, in, the, in a session or just in talking. Like, how did you go about figuring out what to wear today? And then it debriefs that with four kinds of information processes and four kinds of, of judging processes. So this is what Jung called perception and this is what he called judgment. And so these are the eight functions, or the eight psychological types that, that Jung talked about. And we're not using letters here. We're just using everyday words like experiencing, reviewing, interpreting, foreseeing. So people can start to see that this type code stands for everyday activities, the processes we use on how we think about things. So some other things then, that it walks you through understanding the personality type code. So after you get a sense of there are these eight processes, you can relate it to the personality type code. And if you're not using that yet, you can sort of skip over that and, and tell people to turn to different pages. So for example, on sensing and intuiting, there are four brief descriptions on page seven. And those descriptions are rather uh, comprehensive so that no matter where the process is in your particular pattern, whether it's something you lead with or something that's somewhat in shadow, you can identify that you do do these activities and it gets to what's the essence of each of these four perceiving processes. And then there's some, some ways you can walk participants through the self-discovery process um, by having them experience some things uh, and, and see what they relate to the most. And then page nine has those same four processes, but this is what they look like when they are a preferred process, meaning the dominant or auxiliary, or as we call it, the leading role and the supporting role in our personality. So it goes through that and it goes through the same same kind of thing with the judging processes, same processes again, same uh, page kinds of pages. And then we get to which of these processes is preferred. And we have people look at the last letters in the type code, the J and P. And it's what is your orientation to the external world? Now J and P as a dichotomy on the, on the, in the type code is often described in, in some sort of detail but it actually doesn't say too much in and of itself. Really, all it is is a pointer to which one of your processes would you prefer to use in the, do you use to deal with the external world. So if there's a J on the end of the code, that means you live your external life in a more, uh, using one of those judging processes, either thinking or feeling in the external world. And if it's on in the internal world, if there's a P on the code, it says you'll live your external life with a perceiving process. And then what that means as it takes you further into really understanding the type code is, well, what is your preferred world? 
So if there's a J on the end of the code, it says you prefer to use your judging process, whether it's thinking or feeling, in the external world. And if there's an E on the front, it says that's your favorite world. Now there's another letter in the code, and that code would either, either be S or N, and it would, it would tell you um, that, that that other letter in the code is an internal process. It's used for your internal world. So it, it, this, this J and P unlocks a fair amount of understanding about the type code, and that's thoroughly explained in the book. And so we have this whole diagram about cracking the code which really appeals to some people and some people it doesn't appeal to at all, but it helps. And then what we have here is on pages 18 and 19, and these are some of my favorite pages. You know, see there's just a bunch of text here, but it really is about the roles of the processes. And what John Beebe, a Jungian analyst, Dr. John Beebe, has identified is in his work with clients that we use these processes in somewhat archetypal ways. So one process will play a leading role, or he called it the heroic archetype, and one will play a supporting role that even you have access to all eight of them, but they play certain roles and sometimes they're not very available to you, but you do have access to all of the processes. So this booklet keeps it quite open as to what your capacities are for being flexible and adaptable. And once you've figured out the type code, there are two pages devoted to what that looks like for each of the 16 personality types. And you see this over here is a little bit about the shadow. What is, uh, what, what is in shadow for us? And we tend to um, not be able to describe that much in detail because it's less common among people. That's going to vary a lot according to your, um, your life experiences. So we have all of those pages. And I use these pages, sometimes I get people to understand what their 16 personality type pattern is in another way. Sometimes I just am able to holistically tell them to read these descriptions and see what fits. Other times we use essential motivators or temperament and interaction styles to help people find it. And in those cases, I, I sometimes have people go to these um, descriptions to help them sort a little bit better, fine tune their sorting process. And then there are some applications in this book. We get a little bit deeper into the booklet once people have found their best fit and understand a little bit more about it. Um, we have some sections on communication. So this is one of the most powerful things you can do is the communication zone, where you line up your pattern and somebody else's and see where you're likely to trigger each other. So that's what's in this booklet. Quite a bit in there that can really help you if you're a professional using this with your clients. And if you're wanting to understand yourself better, you can go in there and do a lot of deep digging to understand what, what is true for you. So, highly recommend the use of this book in your work with individual clients and even with workshops. And if you want to go deeper, of course, you can attend our uh, Cognitive Dynamics certification training and, um, and then learn to use all of this and learn the depth of knowledge that will really, really help you leverage this lens with people, even in the background. And so it can be very helpful for you, even if you're not going to teach it all to people. So I hope to see you at some point, and I hope this was helpful. Thank you very much.